Dear learners, how are you? I hope you are having a great time and of course you are having a very good preparation, I believe. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss some mathematical problems from our recently published books and these are the chapters, logarithm and exponential. So this tutorial not going to be on new concepts, but we'll use our previous tutorials concepts and we'll solve some problems from our recently published books. That is why this is going to be tips and tricks series 3.1 so here the title of my book mastering math and logic for the tolk equation bank for the tolk i and e so some of you may have confused like whether tolk i and e are similar not similar in the book i have a road instruction for you so you can read them and you will understand what to read what to not but i designed this book such a way that both of you can can be benefited okay so it's super helpful for your preparation i included around 300k mathematical and logical challenges but i have planned within next month i will update i will add 200 more questions so in total it's going to be 500 and once you buy these books you don't need to pay once again because uh, you will have the access i will show you how to buy how to search on google books and how you can buy it so here are the contents initially i included eight chapters for from numeric expression to percentage but i have plan i will add two more chapters which are trigonometry and geometry euclidean geometry so i will add these two chapters because trigonometry is important there are a lot of questions comes from this chapter and also a couple of questions comes from euclidean geometry so i will include these two chapters as well then in section two i added 60 logical problems 60 logical problems but sooner i will add more so total question number will rise in between 80 to 100 and important thing is the logical problem explanation and answer so this is very important because i explain all five options separately I explain why it's right why it's wrong so if you read them you will clearly understand why that particular option was wrong and why it was right so I highly recommend to study these books so that was all about my book now let's start with our tutorials the solving the mathematical problems so we'll solve some problems at least 10 from logarithms and exponential chapter so this is our first problem calculate the value of root 8 8 divided by 8 square is like this way root 8 we can write 4 multiply 2 divided by 8 square so 8 square we can simplify by 64 so this 4 inside a square root we can bring them out of a square root it becomes 2 and 2 remains inside the square root and here the 64 so this 2 and 64 we can reduced by 32 so our answer is root 2 by 32 so this option is our correct answer let's study next problem for any real number y greater than 1 the expression y multiply log 10 y is equal to what so this is a basic formula formula of logarithm if you know the formula you you can solve it it's super easy we know a formula like this log x if log x has a power 2 or let's say m in general so we can write this equation this way m log x so this is a formula okay so here y is given here like this so we can write this y as a power of y okay so that means our answer is b so i designed this books such a way that you can review your basics these problems comes directly from basics there are a lot of problems which i designed in such a way uh, so that it would be helpful for you to and uh, to study the basics because i know in real exam there would be many problems similar to this or of course harder than this but if you know the basics then definitely you can solve them that is why this is a comparatively easy problems but it represents whether you know this formula or not okay let's study uh, problem number three which of the following is not a property of the logarithm function y equal to log bx this is another problems created from basics okay so to uh, solve this problem you need to study the basic properties of logarithm okay otherwise you cannot solve this fundamental knowledge of logarithm function we know that x 
must be greater than zero this is a properties so this is not the right answer y that means value of log bx can be negative infinity to positive infinity this is also right this is a properties b cannot be zero this is also a properties yes we know the base cannot be zero because i explained this that log 0 2 or 4 equal to what let's say equal to uh, y so from the properties of logarithm 0 power y we need to find 4 like this we can write this equation this way for what value of y will get 4 it's not possible whatever the value of y will never get 4 that is why the base can't be 0 so this is also a properties not the correct answer because in the question we have to find out which is not a property of logarithm function b cannot be unity same way b cannot be one so this is also the a properties x cannot be a fraction this is not a properties because x can be fraction is possible this is our correct answer what is the value of log half two so yes we can write log half 2 equal to y then we can write this way half power y equal to 2 so for what value of y will get 2 just inverse negative 1 negative 1 we know will alter the half so it will give us 2 so our answer is d given the properties of logarithms which of the following expression is not equal to log 2 8 so let's simplify this how we can do that so in the options it is not given the direct answer but in terms of log so we have to be careful this kind of problems is tricky you may do some mistakes if you are not careful so let's check uh, let's check this one first 3 log 2 uh, base 2 and 2 which of the following expression is not remember is not equal to log 8 so can we write this equal to option a let's see log 2 8 8 we can write this way 2 power cube so this 3 based on the third rules of logarithm we can write this way 3 log 2 base 2 so yes we can write it that means this is not the answer how about this one b let's check so log 2 8 we can write this way 4 into 2 therefore we can use another formula of logarithm by which we can simplify this log to 4 plus log to 2 so this is also equal to log to 8 therefore this is not our correct answer 2 log to 4 c can we write this log to 4 square let's say no this becomes 16 therefore this is the correct answer this is wrong this is also correct none of course not so our answer is c this is another similar problem consider the properties of logarithms if log to 16 equal to 4 which of the following statement must be true so we can do once again so whose of the following statement must be true okay so log to 16 equal to 4 that's right so let's check this one this gives us 1 and plus 5 uh, 4 that means 5 log 2 power 8 gives us 4 minus 1 3 and here we can write log 2 2 cube so we can write 3 log 2 and 2 and we know when base and argument is the same this means this is 1 so our result is 3 so yes 3 equal to 3 this is right correct answer for these options uh, let's check whether left hand side and right hand side is correct 2 log 2 1 by 16 so let's find out the value of this part then we'll consider others so this part log i'm writing 1 by 16 power let's say y equal to base 2 power y have to be 1 by 16 so what value of y gives us 1 by 16 negative 4 yes so negative 4 means 1 by 2 negative 4 so 1 by 16 here not negative 4 i already wrote it this way so 2 to the power 4 1 by 16 so we are getting the value here negative 4 and here is 2 so it becomes negative 8 so negative 8 not equal to negative 4 this is not the correct answer anyway we found our answer our correct option is b okay next problem indicate which among the following equation is incorrect so let's see where our okay so here the equations we have to find out the incorrect equation by one all options we have to check which one is correct so let's start with option a option a it's given 8 inverse 3 equal to 
2 inverse 9 so we can write this way 1 by 8 cube equal to 1 by 2 power 9 we can rearrange this way 8 into 8 into 8 and this is a big power so we have to consider separately like a smaller power let's say 2 power 7 it's easy to remember 128 therefore we write like this and 2 power 2 so total 2 power 9 okay we can write this way now 1 by 64 into 8 equal to 1 by 128 into 4 so we can further simplify 1 by 64 into 8 gives us 8 multiply 4 2 8 multiply 6 gives us okay so 51 so 512 and here we can get to 51 so this is the correct we have to find out the incorrect equations yes so option b is simple here 6 has a power 2 and this 6 has a power negative 2 we know if there is a multiple sign in between two numbers when base is the same so we can write the equation this way 6 power 2 plus minus 2 the power of other numbers this way so this is the formula so it becomes 2 negative 2 that means 0 this is correct how about these options root 3 and 9 power 0 0.5 0 0.5 means half right half means a square root so a square root of 9 a square root of 9 we can write 3 so 3 into 3 it gives us 9 a square root of 9 which is again 3 so this also correct how about e 7 3 minus 1 so we can write based on the basic concepts power has a negative sign like 3 minus 1 so if there is negative in between power then we can use this formula 7 cube divided by 7 power 1 so this is correct so our uh, wrong answer should be this one 2 power cube becomes 8 and this is a square root of 2 power 4 which is 16 so that gives us uh, 4 actually a square root of 16 gives us 4 so 8 and 4 are not same therefore this is our correct answer option d problem number 8 solve the following expression 3 inverse log 3 uh, 3 base 27 5 log 5 base 125 2 log 2 base 2 log 2 base a square root 16 so we can simply do this way we can write 1 by 3 here and log 3 power 27 that means we can write it this way log 3 3 square a 3 cube 3 cube gives us 27 so value of this becomes 1 therefore only 3 remains plus 5 into log 5 base 125 so 125 we can write this way 5 cube again here remains 3 plus 2 and root 16 means 4 so it gives us 2 square so this 2 is our value we can write this way so our correct answer 3 and 3 cancel each other 5 3 gives us 15 and 4 so our answer is 20 option a solve the following expression for a square log 4 64 3 log 3 uh, 3 base 81 plus 2 power cube I mean 2 cube plus log base 2 128 so this is the similar problems I hope you can solve this uh, solve it solve the following expression okay this is our last problem today we can solve this way so 2 power cube gives us 8 8 square and we can write here 8 divided by that means this whole stuff will be divided by 4 equal to what so 8 and 8 square cancel each other like a square cancel each other remains 8 and 4 we have to divide 8 by 4 that means 2 our option is a so uh, these problems were comparatively easier in rest of the problems are more difficult if you can access the book i would recommend you solve them so that would be helpful for you for uh, for your preparation so before closing today's tutorial let's okay so if you write google books i'm in italy so google libri libri means the library you can go if sames appear you can click here or you can simply click on google books whatever you want both is okay both will work so i'm here and now i'm i want to write my book name just mastering the talk exam talk exam and you can search so first book it belongs to our books so you can click here if you click 
you should click on the title uh, i mean the cover page so there is a preview you can see the preview or if you like you can close the preview then i think that's better to see the book here so in this interface you can see the preview better like if i if you click once again yes this version is better than previous one so here you can see the books okay so this is free like you know like you don't need to pay for for accessing first 25 pays i guess 34 until 34 pays but some pages are missing so in total most probably 24 pays you can see them okay so this way you can at least practice until the free access then if you like it you can buy it so to buy you have to click here equista ebook the price is given here is this price is for italy i think all over the world is the same except the european union so if you click here at the red button top top left then you will be directed to a new page that is google play you have to download this if you have google play already downloaded then you can access it so if you click ebook on the price tag then you will be directed to okay so you can buy it i already included my card so it's easy to buy it but for you you have to set up because you have several options you can add paypals add credit and debit card i have already my card added so i don't need to add any more but for you of course if you don't have paypals or credit cards it's gonna be tricky for you and there is a rhythm code if you have promotion code or rhythm code that currently we are not offering but in future if we offer you can click rhythm code and if you include rhythm code there will be discount so that's all for today i hope uh, you understood today's lecture so all the best for your exam and let let me know your opinions how you preparing and if you have any issues any problems let me know thank you all for your time and stay connected